Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today I want to show you the Bachman Knot, which is a great alternative to the Prusik Loop when you're around wet or icy ropes. Alright guys, so you're going to need a couple things to start off with to tie the Bachman Knot. One is a locking carabiner. Um, I definitely prefer a locking carabiner on this. It's actually used in the system to slide the Bachman Knot up and down the line. So what we have simulated here is your main climbing line and I'll show you kind of how this works um, on the line as an auto block. So if you're familiar with the Prusik, we've gone over that before. So the Prusik is an auto block or a friction hitch that allows you to move on the rope, whether you're ascending the rope or using it as an auto block, which is to arrest your fall in case of a, a slip while you're rappelling, that's, that's what it's for. So the Bachman knot is very similar to this, but the main difference between the Prusik and the Bachman is that it's unidirectional. So the, the, the Prusik loop is omnidirectional, so meaning that it provides friction whether you're pulling up on the line or down on the line. With the Bachman knot, as you'll see in a second, it's unidirectional and it's only providing friction when it's downloaded. So the first step is creating a Prusik loop. And if you're not familiar with the Prusik loop, it's simply just a double fisherman's knot that's been tied to create a loop in a line. And I typically like about a six foot length of line. For me personally, that's going to vary depending on your size and things like that. So the first step is to kind of offset the barrel knot or the double fisherman's knot in the line. So if you were going to take it just like this, meaning that one side was your barrel knot and the other side is the loop, it's not going to line up correctly because you're going to be attaching this into your climbing harness. So I like to offset this a little bit, you know, at least something like that, you know, maybe two feet or something like that, or sorry, about a foot or so. And then what you're going to do is start by hooking the line so you'll form a bite again this is what the other side looks like this is what this side looks like you'll form a bite and you'll hook this into the carabiner and the way we're going to be using this I'm going to position this so that I'm going to be downloading or pulling down on the line this direction so I my standard spiel on carabiners is you screw down so you don't screw up so when you're using a locking carabiner the gravity, if it were to manipulate the actual locking mechanism, would carry it down, not up, thus unlocking the carabiner. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, we're going to have this open for now. You're going to take that bite, slip it into the carabiner, just like so. And you're going to align the carabiner parallel with the line that you're tying onto, and you're going to start wrapping. So that first wrap is now going to come inside the carabiner. I'll move out of the way in just a second here, just like this. So into the carabiner, around the carabiner for the first wrap. And you don't, you're going to go pr fairly tight with this, but you don't have to get crazy with it um, because it is a friction hitch and it will tighten up for you. Again, next line wraps around and through the carabiner. Again, around and through the carabiner. And we'll do one more pass here, around and through the carabiner. So now I have a total of about four wraps on the line. And as you're providing tension on the line, which will come from it being attached to your harness, again, this end would be hooked into your harness here. So again, that barrel knot or the double fisherman's knot is not in line with where that would be attached to your harness. That's why I was mentioning the offset in the beginning. So as the friction is being applied, this line won't move this way. But if friction were being applied this way, it would turn into a mess. So therefore, it's only good when it's being downloaded, so to speak. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that term. So always remember to lock your carabiner. That's a very important step. And then you'll be able to use this for a grip. So it can be great in ascending situations, especially when you're wearing gloves or, as I mentioned, with a icy or wet rope, so that when you're actually pulling up on the rope, you can actually manipulate this with the carabiner. So again, if I'm ascending, meaning pushing that line up and then getting tension from my harness, that's really how you would start manipulating that Bachman knot. 
So hopefully you can see this is an interesting alternative to the Prusik. Um, just remember that, again, this is unidirectional, not omnidirectional. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.